This video will show you how to create the messaging services process and how the cloud application integration can connect to an AMQP broker, fetch message from an AMQP queue, and then write it to a different AMQP queue in the same broker. For this demonstration, we will use the Apache Active MQ, which is a message broker that can foster communication for more than one client or server. We'll use an existing Active MQ server. It is important that you set up AMQP client libraries on the agent where you want to run this process. Copy the Active MQ jar file to the desired location as shown here and restart the agent. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login. And select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Lab Exercise and a folder named Messaging Services. In this example, the messages that will be communicated can be simple strings or complex as an order or shipping information. To define complex messages as a single object, we need to create them as process objects. Let's create an order process object as we would be communicating order information. Click New, click Process Object and click Create. We have entered the process object name as order and entered a description in the text box. We'll add a few fields. Enter name, label and type and click Add Field. The field first name gets added to the table. Similarly, we have added the other fields like last name, department and ID. Click Save. Next, we'll create an AMQP connection to read messages from and to write messages to the AMQP queue. Click New, Connections and click Create. The Connection Edit window opens. The Properties tab defines the connection information that needs to be provided to connect to AMQP server. Enter name as AMQP Action. Select AMQP as the type of connector and select your agent which can connect to AMQP provider. Enter the connection properties here. Enter the AMQP broker user credentials here. Note that the port number must always be 5672. Enter the host name where the active MQ server is running. In the Event Sources tab, we will define the sources that this connection will listen to. Click Add Event Source and AMQP Source. Enter name as Order Queue. Enter the properties details here. We will read from a queue, in this case, Order Queue. And we will pass order information in JSON format. For the object list field name, we have entered the process object, which defines the structure of the message on the queue. Dead letter queue stores the messages that encounter failure during processing. This queue would be created on the same AMQP broker as the source queue. In the event targets tab, we will define the targets that this connection will write to. Click Add Event Target and AMQP Target. Enter name as Order Q2. Enter the properties details here. We are writing to a queue, in this case, Order Q2, in JSON format. Save the connection. Now, on the Active MQ console window, the queues tab is still empty. Publish the connection. Refresh the Active MQ console. You will see the order queue listed here. The number of consumers is 1, which is your local agent. We'll now create the messaging services process. This process is going to be automatically triggered when a message is published to order queue which in turn writes the same message to order Q2. 
there could be one or more downstream applications listening on order queue. For the sake of brevity, we will not be showing the downstream applications. Click New, select Processes, and click Create. A design palette appears. The start and end step is created by default. Click the Start step, and in the General tab, we have entered the name of the step as Order Receiver. In the Start tab, we have configured this process as an event-based process. It reads the events generated by the active messages being published to the order queue. And it runs on the agent. The input field event is added by default. This is of type AMQP message and it contains the content of the message. There are no output fields for this process. We'll add two temporary fields. We'll first add order in and select order as the type. Next, we'll add the done event. We'll select AMQP message as the type for this field. The two temp fields now appear in the table. In the advanced tab, the tracing level is set to verbose, which gives detailed information on the execution of the process. Next, we'll add an assignment step between the start and end step and call it assignment. We'll add a few fields here. First, we'll add the order in field and retain the value type to field and set its value to event message body. Next, we'll add the field done event of value formula and set its value as shown here. Next, we'll add a wait step after the assignment step and call it wait. We'll set the wait period to one second. We'll add a service step after the wait step and call it writing orders to target queue. In the service tab, select the service you want to call. In this case, we have used the AMQP connection. Action is where you want to write to, hence we have selected Order Q2. In the Input Fields tab, we have updated the field value to Done Event for the Event field. Save and publish the process. We'll now execute the process. On the active MQ console window, click the Send tab. Enter name as order queue. Enter a message in the format as shown here and click send. Refresh the console window. We'll see that a message was enqueued, which means written to order queue, then dequeued, which means read from order queue, and then written to the order queue too. Let's now look at the execution of this process. On the application integration console window, Click Refresh. Ensure the agent is selected for the processes. An ID is generated for each executed process. Click the ID to see further details. The current run state shows completed. Review the input fields. Next, click the Writing Orders to Target Queue service step. Review the input fields. There were no output fields for this process. If you wish to do a further detailed debugging, you can go to the advanced view. Click variables. Let's look at the input fields. Here you can see the input values to the process. There are no output fields. Review the temp fields. This concludes the video demonstration on creating and executing a messaging services process.